Hey guys, I'm Comet Turtle, and you are watching Turtle Time. Today I'm covering why we are all missing conventions. Doesn't matter if you're going to a furry con or not. Now, before I dive into that, a little preamble. I decided to post this question on what you're missing about furry conventions to all of my social media. Link in the description below. Go ahead and give me a follow on those right there. Go ahead. I'll wait. Have you done it yet? Have you? You have? Great! With that, I got all kinds of answers back from the obvious to the obscure and the inappropriate. The inappropriate ones I will not share on this channel. I found them hilarious. But no, not on this one. You can go watch it on another channel somewhere. I don't know. So, that being said, conventions, whether you're a video gamer, a YouTuber, a horror film fanatic, or furry, anime fan, whatever you are, there's a convention out there for you. But this year, 2020 to be exact, has been a major bummer. I don't know what's going on. Well, actually I do. I just will not say it. Because I did not want to be giving a strike. For those of you who are curious about this, Google 2020 pandemic and you'll find it. That being said, what year is this being shown in? I honestly want to know. Is YouTube even still a thing? And probably going to be a year or two in the future when you're watching this anyway. For those of you who are still watching it, 10 years in the future? Wow. Really? This lasted that long? Okay then. Okay, let's get right back into this. Some of the answers I got were super obvious. And one just threw me for a complete and utter loop. Someone wrote that they were missing the ice machines at the hotel that the convention happens at. I'm just like, why are you missing the ice machine? And why is that so important that you had to tell me that? You have to come with a cool little bucket with lining. But come on, the ice machine, really? <sighs> For that, I'm trying to give you the fish. Like this. Oh boy. Not real fun. Okay, that was kind of funny. I admit that. Now into the two topics that I got the most answers on. Well, then three. Number three is the vendor. You can find all kinds of cool swag at conventions. From official merch to fan-made products. And oftentimes, that's the only place to find them. Or something super obscure. One year, I went to an amazement and I found a plushie of a Totoro from my neighbor Totoro wearing a Pikachu costume. Picture shown here. Now, I've tried to find a sucker on Amazon to no avail because my girlfriend at the time really liked it. That being said, I'm pretty sure I can only find that at a convention, really. But I can't go to a convention for the vendors because, well, I don't have any conventions happening this year. Next topic that everyone was talking about was the costume. You saw anything from fan-made DIY costume, and that literally looked like an uh, amateur did, to a high-grade professional stuff now, that could have been bought from a professional dealer or made because you had that much passion for them. Even in the furry fandom, you go to conventions and you saw suits from every maker under the rainbow. from well-known ones like Mischief Maker and More For Less to stuff 
and somebody made it in their basement. All suits deserve proper praise. No matter how amateurish it looks. Because quite frankly, many of us can't be even begin to make a costume of our own. So for those of you who tried to do it, I give you my full applause. Oh, and don't get me started on panels and dance comp, dance competitions for sure, where people got up and danced in these big, heavy costumes. That's crazy talk right there. And people did that and seriously bust the move, if you know what I mean. Sometimes, but a little more than just a move, but the one that everyone agrees to missing. And no matter what convention you went to, how many conventions you went to, or any others, it was the people. Being around anywhere from 50, yeah, some of the smaller conventions, to a couple thousand. Heck, the last convention I went to, had over 7,000 attendees from at least five different countries right there. I'm gonna put actual stats right here on what was at, uh, official tennis for Midwest Fur Fest 2019. Okay, I was wrong. That was a bit more than 7,000. But you get my point. Oh man, 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 man. We were her. her slam pack in that sucker like, like a can of sardines and we enjoyed every minute of it but quite frankly that's not going to happen this year thanks to what's going on and we're missing it conventions are great places to meet up with friends that you would have no other option of meeting really friends that live several counties away from you to friends who live several countries away from you. And even opportunities to meet new people. Do you meet new people at conventions? Most conventions have the opportunity where you can meet some of your favorite people in the theme of the convention. I have a I convention, you might be able to meet John Luke Picard anime conventions, you might be able to meet the voice actor for Brock from Pokemon. And for a convention, you can meet some of your favorite poppy furs or popular fursuit makers. Quite frankly, we all miss conventions. And we're looking forward to when they can safely start back up. What do you think? Did I miss any points? Did I hit the issue on the notes for you? If I did, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, if you like what you saw and want more, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications when my next video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. Share it with friends, family, I only don't care. And I hope to see you all next time, Johnny. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Click the video on screen right now to check out another one of my videos. Until next time, Johnny.